Today I'm going to teach you how to edit on a Mac. So if you open the photo and double click it, it should open its native app called Preview. In Preview you can adjust colors, crop, and uh, do some quick edits on, the, on your photo as well. So if you go up to the toolbar and you click adjust color, it's going to bring up the uh, little chart of uh, the different types of things that you can do to the photo such as changing the exposure, changing the contrast, uh, messing with the highlights, uh, messing with the shadows. As you can see here that I'm uh, kind of moving around things on the photo. You can do that as well if you're, if you're a Mac user and you're trying to edit a photo that you just took. With Preview, it also allows you to crop your image so you can basically use your mouse to select around the image you're going to crop. Go up to Toolbar and click on Crop. So if in case you want to crop a uh, horizontal photo into a vertical photo, you can do that. You can rotate it as well, uh, rotate it uh, both directions and flip it horizontal or vertical as well. So now we're going to switch over to PC. In PC, we use something called Windows Photo Viewer to view the photos and to edit them. Now go over to the top right hand corner and click on Edit and Create. That's going to open up the editor. Once you're in the editor, click Adjust. Now you'll be able to see the toolbar on the right side, but I've moved it over to the left side so you can see it a little bit bigger. So here I'll be adjusting the contrast, messing with the exposure, moving the highlights and the shadows. This toolbar will allow you to edit the photo. Now if you go to the top of the photo, you'll see the crop button. This will allow you to crop the image. Just like we did on the Mac, you can do the same here. Just go ahead and adjust the way you want it to crop it. You can also flip the image and rotate it as well. Windows Photo Viewer also has this cool little option for filters, which allows you to apply a pre-made edits. And the final tip of basic editing is saving your photo. I always recommend to save a copy so you don't save over your original file.